In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the color splash effect on moving subjects right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects, we want to begin by creating a brand new composition. So we'll go new composition, rename to color splash. The width should be 1920, the height should be 1080, frame rate should be 23.976. Start time code zero, duration can be 10 seconds, and then we'll press OK on this setting. Now we'll drop our video clip into our timeline, and you just want to scrub through and find a point in the video that you want to apply this effect to. So we're gonna start the effect roughly on the takeoff for this bat flip. So I'll hold Command Shift D, delete the first part of that clip, and we'll just move through a few seconds in time. Then we'll hold Command Shift D and we'll delete the end of that video. And then we'll just push that video over to the very beginning. So I'm just gonna do the color splash effect on this part of the video. Now from here, you want to go ahead and you want to make a copy of that video. So select the video, hold Command C and then press Command V. That will make a perfect copy of that video. Now from here, you want to go ahead and turn off the top layer. So press the eyeball icon, select the bottom layer go into effects and presets and search for hue slash saturation. Then we'll drop that onto the video. Now we're going to master saturation, pull this all the way down to negative 100 and we have a black and white video. So we'll turn this layer off and we'll turn on the top layer. And just to avoid us from getting confused, we're gonna rename these two layers. So we'll rename the top layer to color splash and we'll rename the bottom layer to background B and W, black and white. So select color splash, that is the top layer. We'll go up to the roto brush icon, double click on the video itself. We'll scroll to the start of the video. And then you just want to scribble some green paint within the subject. So we'll just paint some green paint on the subject. And as you can see, there should be a mask that should perfectly sit around your subject. Unfortunately, if this overlaps, then you're gonna have to go and remove that part of the video. And in order to do this, you just want to hold Option on the keyboard, just paint over the part that shouldn't be there. This is a part that isn't the subject. And once you're happy with that, we can just go ahead and press the Space button. So press the Space button and let the computer analyze the clip. Now, if the computer misinterprets your footage and adds the background into this, or it misses out a part of your subject, you can just go in and make any adjustments where you need to make them. So keep repeating this process over and over again. Press space, make your adjustments, press space, make your adjustments. Keep doing this over and over again until you've successfully analyzed the entire clip that you want to apply the effect to. So as you can see, I am rushing through this and because I'm rushing through it, this is not going to be the cleanest mask in the world. So there will be a little bit of overlapping from the color splash effect, but that's okay. I'm just showing you the technique. Make sure to really put the time and effort into creating this mask. Now, once you've successfully created that mask, you will see you've got this video playing with a purple outline surrounding the subject. Now, once you're happy with that mask, all you have to do is press the selection tool, go back into composition, color splash, and as you can see, you've got your subject isolated with no background. So all you have to do is press the original background layer back on, and as you can see, your subject has been color splashed. If you really want to make this effect more prominent, then you can add some more saturation to the subject. So we'll drop hue slash saturation onto the subject, and we'll pull up the mask saturation all the way up to around 35%. And as you can see, we've got this really awesome color splash effect happening. Of course, mine is a little bit messy because I did rush through the rotoscoping, but if you put the time and the effort into creating a clean mask when rotoscoping, then you're going to capture a really beautiful and really awesome looking color splash effect. So there you go. That is how you add the color splash effect to moving subjects right inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching this video, and of course, I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.